All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC on the Xbox Series S. And we just defeated the biggest, uh, what are they called, Cyber Scorpion or something? I don't know. A, a giant mechanical rad scorpion just attacked us. And uh, we kind of just hid back here and uh, did our thing. It really wasn't that difficult once we got a little cover here. And just kept peeking out, throwing some grenades and doing some other stuff. And, uh, hey, pretty easy. All right, so here we go. Uh, now, here's some info about the giant Robo Scorpion. Small, okay. Now, this is telling us how to beat it. <laughs> no, we already beat it. I, I probably maybe should have read this uh, beforehand. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other things we'll see in the next few minutes <laughs> that I could have been doing uh, to make it a little easier for me. But it was a pretty good fight, so I don't care. I had fun. And, uh, unfortunately, that's like the only enemy here. I thought there'd be a swarm of them with a big one in the back. But there was just the one. All right, so let's... Can I search this thing? I'm, I'm finding a part. I want to search this freaking thing. Where is the... There we go. All right, there we go. And uh, get some decent amount of stuff there. Look at all those sensor modules in there. And uh, the lair. Okay, there we go. That's a new gun uh, using MF cells. So we're going to be using that uh, probably in the next chapter when we do a different DLC. So Because this one's done. I don't think there's anything left to fight here, guys. There's going to be a cool, some cool dialogue. Well, we could fight Dr. Mobius there in the corner. Uh, but we could also negotiate with the guy or whatever the heck he is. All right. Well, that looks pretty cool. We'll take that. Uh, we'll just take it all. All right. Yeah, might as well take that too, right? Um, there's freaking explosions, man. Little sparks going off. Somewhere. All right. Now, I don't have my pit boy light on. Or do I? I don't know. I can, can I jump? I can't jump up there. Oh, yeah. I got to go around. All right. Come on. Let me jump. Let me jump. Oh, man. All right. What else we got here? Oh, here we go. And here we go. All right. Well, we got a little force shield here, which no problem. We got the uh, the emitter here, sonic emitter, and uh, just get rid of that thing. Boom. And then we can get some stems or whatever. No stems. They don't really give you too much healing in this uh, DLC here. I'll tell you that much. Luckily, we aren't that hurt. We didn't get hurt that bad. So they, they sort of mapped this out as some strategic type of battle where you can go to these different compartments, find different stuff, move on uh, while the thing's trying to track you. Uh, we didn't really do that. We just stayed in the entrance. And, hey, that's you know that's what's so good about these games. You can do whatever the heck you want. It's not like uh, you know these linear types of games where they map you through and you got to hold your hand on this part and go up this ladder and you know go across this ledge. And there's only one way to do it, you know? That's what's so good about uh, Fallout and Skyrim, which I've also been playing, by the way. Yeah, it's back. They got another new edition of it, which actually is, is pretty cool, except for the fact that some of the mods, you know, are, are struggling a little bit to be compatible there. But I did start a Skyrim anniversary playthrough also, and I might play that for a while. I'm getting into it, and uh, I might make a long series on that character. I, but then also I, in the back of my head, I'm like, well, I got to redo my mod list and make sure, you know, get more mods and get it working better. All right, there's the pit boy. I don't know what was up with that. It was like on, but it, it wasn't this bright. All right. Eh. I usually do take the cartons of cigarettes. They're worth a decent amount for some small loot, but I'm not really uh, scrounging for money anymore now that we can leave this place after we... After, after we get out of here, we're clear. So we're going to get our brain back in the next room. And uh, assuming that goes well, we can leave. And we can go back to the regular, uh, you know, the Mojave wasteland and do whatever we want. So it's a lot easier to make some caps there. And I probably got tons of stuff I can sell back at the uh, casino, you know. And what's cool is I'm going to end up using this place as my home base now, right? Uh, because the player home you have there... Uh, you can just teleport right to it. I, I, I'm not sure if you go outside or inside, but still, it's like one or two teleport. To get to that freaking lucky 38 room, you gotta go through like three or four load screens there, because you gotta first go to Good Neighbor, and then, uh, 
Not good neighbor. I'm in the wrong freaking game there. Uh, whatever the hell it is. Freeside. All right, you got to actually go to the gate and freeside. Go through the gate, then go through the front door casino, and then take the elevator up to the room. So it, it takes a little while to get there. And even if you go out to the uh, Novak uh, room, which is the, the crappy little motel room, um, you still got to go through the door. And I think this teleport... I don't know. I don't remember. It might just teleport you outside, in which case you do have to go through the door. Or it might teleport you into the room. I, I, I can't remember. It's been a while. All right. So here we go. This Look at how hard these freaking uh, passwords are. The thing is so long, but we eliminated all the ING words, so that's good. So it, it's not that hard now. Uh, we just got to look for the one on the first one, and then it looks like the I is probably right in the end. Uh, but who knows? It could be something else. So extensive. Does that work? We got the E in the bottom one. We got it. All right. No big deal. All right, they, 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 the words are so long in this game, though. I'm not used to that. All right, here we go. Yeah, we can retarget. Oh, boy, that was helpful. We could have retargeted all the turrets here to fight the Robo Scorpion. Um, well, the thing's already dead. <laughs> so, you know, at least we got the hacking uh, XP, right? All right, so there's a bunch of stuff like this. So we're just looting up and, you know, having fun checking it out i gotta get the heck out of here because that sparkling is driving me insane but uh you know we gotta look through every ah, i can't get over this way we gotta look through every nook and cranny first can i just go down i don't know all right well, um i gotta go back all right let's go out I, the way we came i guess so yeah, this would have been a pain in the butt. Well, that would have been cool to turn the turrets on, but then get into the next one. Oh my god, that would have been tough if we didn't get them from up there. But uh, all right, I guess the Pipoy like does doesn't shine that far uh, in this. Look at how it doesn't. I can't even see barely anything in front of me. All right, here we go. And we got another force field. And a psycho wore off. All right, well that helped. All, all the chems are wearing off, guys. Uh, all right, well we don't. Hopefully we don't need them anymore. Got a box of stuff and uh, Foot Locker with a wrench in it. Oh, I get so excited! I see a chest, and we need a hundred to hack that. All right, well that was probably some super OP way of dealing with this Robo Scorpion. Maybe we could just shut it off if you need a hundred on there. I mean. That is a maxed out stat there. So, uh, I don't know what that was. I could look it up, but, uh, you know, I don't care. All right. Well, could you please just give me a stim pack? I don't need them right now, but I need them, you know, <laughs> eventually. Uh, and who knows? We might have some enemies when we get out of this place that are still programmed. But I think we're going to make a deal with uh, Dr. Mobius here and get our brain back and, uh, Hopefully, we're going to turn on the other guy. Hey, you know, they're okay. The other brains, I mean, they're just a little eccentric. They're fine. I don't want to go to war with them, but they're not like... I don't see them as like the good guys and Dr. Mobius as the bad guy. I'll tell you that right now. I think they just have a little misunderstanding, and they're both a little crazy because their brain's in a vat, and they didn't even give themselves arms when they made robot bodies. So, uh, what's that all about? I don't know. All right, here we are. I think this is where we got to go, right behind us. So let's check out the foot lockers. All right, some rounds. That'll work. And we got a hollow tape. Oh, the Mobius Scorpion. What the heck? What do we need that for? The sonic emitter. What? Oh, interesting. So we could use the Robo Scorpion. Does that just kill the scorpions, or does it act like the? I don't. I don't understand. But uh, hey, we got a setting on there. We can recalibrate this thing too. All right, tons of ammo, and here we go, guys. Oh, all right. Well, let's look in this little place first, of course, uh, before we go in there for the. Oh, we might need this gun. So they they give us a. Oh, there's another lair. All right. Well, we got two of them now. Um, so they gave us that. We could have used that to fight the freaking Robo Scorpion too. We got two of them. So, yeah, we could have been using that the whole time uh, if we just snuck up here and came this way. Now, I, I gotta look. Yeah, we got the wrong one on. I don't think this takes us anywhere, though. That just takes us back down. That's the way to get up here to begin with. 
we could have just run this way. Like, if we came this way, we would have found that. If we went the other way, we would have got the turrets and that uh, terminal we couldn't hack. So, you know, a bunch of different options uh, if you need some bigger guns to fight that thing with. But we didn't. We had a lot of grenades, which helped a lot. And, uh, yeah, but we pretty much did it. And <laughs> we just took a few shots after that. That thing, I mean, come on. All right. Well, here we go anyway. I think I looked around a little more. Cut that out for you guys. And now the big finale. We got to be on guard here. We don't know what Dr. Mobius could be up to. There he is. He's not red. So that's good. He's not hostile. So I guess we're going to talk to the thing. Guy, What? you know, whatever. Brain. Huh? Yo! Yo. Hello there. Uh, you are there, oh. aren't you? Oh. Uh, forgive my Can't confusion. See that again, huh? So hard to tell these days. Right. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. Yeah, you know the I brain over there in the corner? Uh, you're here for your brain? Perhaps? Mm, uh, it's just up there. Yeah. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. Yeah, it's still talking to me. Uh, uh, not even in me. hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left? Yeah, right, FOV coon. Um, ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Okay. Now this guy does look like a mad genius here with the broken eye. Death that's perception sure. is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. So the monitor is also the <laughs> camera. Old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. Yeah, it's maybe just look that the into right that. I would see the wrong things. Oh. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Okay, so he was would hallucinating and gouged mentat? his own eye out. I'm getting the, getting the impression there. Um, yeah, we'll take some mentats. Oh, I love mentats. Delicious right. and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and oh, ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my bio gel. I forget them all not long after, though. Yeah, I especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. This guy's gonna talk about Had to off. start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you know, uh, you aren't exactly what I was really? expecting. That implies preconceived notions, theories, yeah. and a hypothesis about this meeting. Mm -hmm. Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? I mean, a After genius? All, uh, it might uh, be not worth a cognitive insane? realignment oh, a little if insane, your theoretical but... Mobius is better than I. Yeah, I I just want the brain back, all right? I mean, I thought he'd be a little smarter than this, honestly, but... Oh, a variety of raisins. See, you're he doesn't something even know what word to use. The uh, anomaly? You're, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. Right. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. Okay. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. All Can't right. Brains moving around That's what we're trying to do. Solution. I mean, I do like the Tesla thing, but I don't think I can leave the uh, big empty with it. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight yeah. response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. All right. Where are you planning on putting my brain in one oh, of these things? Curiosity. With the, the eyes on I the monitor. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Yeah, probably mm. that. <laughs> probably that. Right. Oh my God, we can't. A good hit with the hammer might fix your monitor. <laughs> we gotta say that. Oh, I, I know it was gonna fail. Already. It's called immersion, oh, guys. Contributed to the problem. Now that I rethink it, I tried it, that already. Thank you for asking before trying it. Yeah, we're just being polite. All right, give me the brain. Do you? 
You seem fine without that it. That is true, but we've got and only one more here. Even want to go back with you? Maybe. Maybe you should ask it. Um, it's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. Oh, really? Tell you what, I'll leave it up to oh, your brain. Be... If it wants to go, then Are fine. we gonna have to fight our if own not, brain here? Well, you should now, that would be cool. its wishes. If our brain was in one of these things flying around, shooting laser beams at us and stuff. That would be cool. Well, someone's got to do a mod for that. All right. Well, that's it. We didn't even fight him. Indeed. The uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Right. All right. Oh, look at that. We leveled up. All right. I think we need science at this point, right? I mean, uh, we got to uh, max out the science. 75 is a good round number, but we'll get it up to 80, guys, and then we got one left over. Because I, I feel like we're going to need some science talking to the other guys uh, before we leave here. All right, let's look at the perks. Always go to the bottom, see if anything new popped up. A Demos gear, a strong back part two. We don't need gear right now. We don't need more experience either, uh, or the books, or the spray and pray. I like that. That's my favorite gun in uh, Fallout 4, or one of them. We don't need radiation. That doesn't happen too often. That's not bad. Oh, no, we, we can just back out normally, you know. That's always good. Tag skill. Nah, we don't need that. Melee. We don't do melee. All right, pyro. Um, we don't ever get in that situation, really. Health bonus when you... Oh, that we need. <laughs> I always need more health. Night person. Nerd rage. Uh, we don't drop the health that, that often. Misfortune. I mean, this is what I'm looking at here. I think I might do misfortune. I think that's the one. Appearing on it. Because this is uh, the mysterious stranger and you got misfortune. So I do use that, uh, you know, half the time. I like bats. I don't, I'm not trying to do some type of hardcore thing where I'm always aiming. Because uh, I like the I like the strategy of bats, honestly. All right. Uh, let's just look at the rest. I think I'm looking at going for misfortune most likely, though. All right. Raiders, tribals. That might be good for the next DLC, honestly. I think we're going to do Honest Hearts next. And uh, then the Lonesome Road. And uh, yeah, we're not doing dead money, guys. I don't think. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> that, that, that just stresses me out just thinking of that DLC. Alright. Infantry. Energy weapons. We don't need drained ammunition. I'm not recycling stuff that often. Shotties? I do use shotties. Not that often, though. Alright, Mad Bomber. I'm, I'm gonna do the end of the, uh, the whole end of the game fighting the Legion, but I probably won't make videos of that. I did not make videos of the main game of this. I did, like, one or two of, like, a certain mission here or there. Uh, the, uh, the fl Come Fly With Me mission. Uh, a year ago or more, I don't know. But I was just playing this for fun, but then I'm like, you know, I want to do... I did freaking Cyberpunk for 180 episodes, and I and now I'm doing Skyrim for God knows how many. So I just wanted to do one that I know is going to end. And so I'm like, uh, you know, even though this is part of a longer game, I played 80 hours, I, you know, the DLC ends. So I can just do that as a series on YouTube here. And, uh, you know, so that's why I'm doing this. I did want to do, uh, what is it called? The one in the swamp uh, in Fallout 3. I wanted to do that for, what the heck was that called? I can't even remember. I wanted to do that for Halloween, but I did not get around to that. All right, where do we go? What are we doing? Misfortune, I guess, right? Where'd that go? I can't, I lost it. It was below this. Man, we looked at a lot of them. There it is. All right, we're doing Misfortune. Sounds good.
Dr. Mobius's glove. I do not do unarmed or, or melee. All sorts of so right now. we're not playing with that. I got to do a run like that, though, one of these days, man. I got to do a melee or and unarmed run or something. And maybe add explosives, too, for, you know, if you need a long shot, you throw some dynamite or something. Well, All right, well, this is the big moment. Dragged themselves in out of the Talking with our own brain and here. where have we been? Hmm? Why do we Crawling sound British? Of radioactive muck again? Ah, lovely. Figure that you out. You don't sound like you? me. Would you like a cookie? Um. Uh. How the hell did Mobius get our brain now? I want to talk about something else. I don't know. Let's just go well, straight to it here. Do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote. As yeah. if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the no, waste. No, it's that accent. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. I, I thought you liked that. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? I did forget. I don't know how that happened. Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Well, neither did the body, okay? Yeah, it's your fault, brother. I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic yeah. in our little partnership. All those feelings, feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Uh, glands. glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny okay. of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, right. I can see how foolish your motives are. Um, but you're the source of the glands. Yeah, the, this is the, the yeah, but, well, yeah, but outsmarted look, my own brain the there, guy. Complex system of biofeedback and other things. Yeah, I expect it to is understand. complex. That's why you shouldn't blame me. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about all it. All right, get back in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not. You like sitting here with Doctor Mobius, listening to that guy all day? Really? Here I have peace. In your head. Peace. Do you know how? Oh, sorry. I skipped through that. The, the thing is, I, oh man, there was a glitch, and I had to go back and redo this because it froze in if a you loop of back, dialogue. And we need to establish some. So I, I might have accidentally skipped through First, some of it too. Showers. Right. Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. Well, what about just using that Stimpax? That Julie Farkas woman, for example. She seems to know Stimpax a thing or two. seems to work fine. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and mm. genitalian orchestra. Promise me that. I hope I never hear his voice you. again, honestly. <laughs> not that I got really? anything against <laughs> British people, but I I, I'm not British. It's not really my voice, that. you know? I'm afraid that was a bit or of my character. Really? I'm not going with you. You're not going. What are you going to do? Listen to Dr. Mobius all day. Never mind. I don't care. Stay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave you there. Wait, now what should I do? See, I forget which oh, one's going to no. glitch it. <laughs> Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome. Yeah, real safe. I'm a mad scientist here. Who knows what he could do? Library. This whole place could blow up tomorrow. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape I so can't even see straight. it was actually improved by the end of the world. Well, that's true. I don't know how I could bear it. Um... You want to end up like those guys? <laughs> yeah, this is a good point. Do you want to end up it's like those true. guys the or this guy? I've experienced some degree of deterioration. Just, just a little. I'm confident that with a I, I don't know. I think they were work, already like that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, they, they corrosive effects of the of long term biogel. Do you think I'm so guy keeps stupid. complaining about that. No. I don't think that needed right. to be a science one. You just listen to the guy. He just said that. Mobius just said that. I thought. This bear something. That's a speech into. skill. You gotta pay attention to conversation there. Alright, um Let Yeah, me what see. about me? I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now. Oh. Using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Okay. Unless of course the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. Well, that sounds better actually. Maybe you leave this guy here. What did you think all those self preservation instincts were? Mm -hmm. Um all those times you thought for a fleeting second. 
Maybe I shouldn't punch that death claw. I know, face. that's why I used the gun instead. That was me telling you exactly how I felt before. I thought you just meant use a weapon instead of punch. I mean, I don't use melee. I, I was listening to you, right? Right, right. Come on, buddy. Ooh, crawl back in there. Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. Well, scan my memory. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or Man. packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. Yeah. So. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. Ah, whatever. We'll just stem pack you back in. Lady killer. Wait, I can do lady Are killer? You are you coming on to me? Well, you know. Sweet Lord, uh, I don't even have the words for how repugnantly wrong that is. Is it really wrong? Please tell me we weren't that perverse when I was in your head. Don't you remember? <sighs> Anyways, even if that was on the table, we have a problem. Mm. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and right. go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, yeah. Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. Well, let's go to back we to the tank. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined. Let to me share. deal with that. They promised it, yeah. Yeah, they did they, 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 sort of, maybe. They, they, they didn't seem to want us to go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> We've reached the mindless yeah, violence let's just take portion care of the program. Them. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? I'm going to try to talk, and then if not, we don't, you know, we got to go. Oh, man, I wish I had the bombs. The last resort, and I'm feeling uncivilized. I like that one. <laughs> All right, let's just go in the... Uh, Energy weapons? I think energy. Hello, energy weapons. Yeah, we gotta go yes. energy against I've them. I've almost forgotten how much fun those are. Hey, how now, see, this is the brain I remember there. We had fun. All right. If they won't hold the bargain, we'll make them. That's it. If, if, hopefully they will, but if they don't, we're gonna get rid of them. We'll just Sonic emit them back to uh, right. Oblivion. Look out, well, that's the wrong tank. game this series. This brain but is coming out of its job. You know what I mean. I suppose now that we're reunited, right. you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took yeah, from us. Probably. Personally, I think your upgrades are I might keep some of the upgrades. Better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's auto-dock can plug them back right, in we'll, no we'll problem. We'll have to look up the stats right on those on the internet. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a all nasty right, shot. we're going to do all that next time, guys. The field won't work on a mind and body reunited. All right, blah, blah, blah. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Fallout New Vegas. Old World Blues on the Xbox Series S. Uh, we only got one more episode left. And we'll see you next time.